Hello, uh, welcome to the Salt Lake City Permitting Information Portal. Uh, in this demonstration, I would like to show you the Building Permits Information Portal. This can be found at www.slcgovopencounter.com. What this service does is that it helps you define if a project that you're working on is permitted and or a conditional use. It helps you identify the permits that will be required as well as an estimate as to the fees based upon the scope of work that you enter into the system. First off, you want to start by matching the type of use that you're looking at doing. Um, I want to create a bar. You can see that I get a list of options. This options ties into our zoning use tables, and we can pick the type that we're most likely uh, trying to do. In my instance, I'm going to do a brew pub. This takes us to a mapping page where if I knew the address, I could type it in. Or if I want to look into uh, different areas of the city where it might be permitted or a conditional use, I can zoom in. In the areas that are dark gray, the use is prohibited. In the areas that are green, the use is permitted. And in the areas that are the peach color, the use is a conditional use. We're going to zoom in and select a parcel. I'd like to put a, a brew pub right here at 422 North, 300 West. Uh, it's asking if it's larger or smaller than 2,500 square feet. It's going to be smaller. Different rules for larger businesses. Right out of the gate, you can see that it's a conditional use, and I'll have to work through a conditional use process with the planning division. I'm going to remodel an existing structure. I will be doing mechanical work, electrical work, and plumbing work. And as you see, as I select these types of work, it outlines the types of permits that are going to be required. The existing use of the site is a commercial space. I will be doing some work on the exterior. And I will not be having outdoor dining, but I will be installing a sign. You can see that it requested a minor alteration. We'll find out later that this property is located in a local historic district, and there's some processes there that we'll need to work through. Now it's going to ask me some questions about the type of work that I'll be doing to help me with the fee estimations. Right out of the first part of the list, we've got a total of the base fees. We will be doing a water heater and a plumbing trap. I'm just making up numbers. You'll want to be a little more selective. We're going to do a forced air. We're going to do one small one. My electrical work will be about $5,600. The value of the construction, about $75,000. The sign will be about 10,000 or 1,000. Now you can see that I have a list of the permits that are going to be required. I can view the project details in scope, give me all of the details based on what I've done. You can see that I'm in the zoning district community business. I'm in the Capitol Hill overlay district. To learn more about either of these two zoning requirements, I can click the learn more. Here's my parcel information, and again back to the summary page. If I want to take a copy of this with me, I can download the PDF, or if I have any more additional questions, I can contact staff. This will send a direct email to the staff that's best able to help you answer those detailed questions. And if I were ready to begin permitting, I could select the permit applications, which would take us to our application submission site. It's that easy. Thank you.